Ever wondered why Portugal is often called the hidden gem of Europe? This captivating country is steeped in rich history and brimming with diverse culture. Its stunning landscapes are a visual feast, from the sun-kissed beaches to the verdant vineyards. Portugal's charm is undeniable, yet many of its treasures remain unexplored. As we delve into the heart of this enchanting nation, we'll unveil the seven magical things that define its unique allure. Today, we uncover the seven magical things about Portugal, starting from number seven. At number seven, we have the Azores, an archipelago that's a world of its own. Nestled in the heart of the Atlantic, this collection of nine volcanic islands is a stunning testament to the raw power and beauty of nature. Each island carries its own distinct charm, offering landscapes that range from lush green pastures to towering cliffs and tranquil lakes, each a breathtaking canvas painted by nature itself. The Azores are a paradise for wildlife, boasting a diverse ecosystem that nurtures a multitude of species. Dolphins and whales frolic in its waters while rare birds find sanctuary in its forests. Outdoor enthusiasts will find their haven here, with activities like hiking, birdwatching, and diving. And let's not forget the incredible volcanic activity that has shaped these islands, creating natural swimming pools and hot springs. The Azores effortlessly weave the raw power of nature with serene beauty, making it a must-visit destination. The Azores, a paradise tucked away in the heart of the Atlantic. Number six on our list is something that tantalizes your taste buds, the Portuguese cuisine. A symphony of flavors, Portuguese cuisine is a culinary delight that goes beyond the typical. From the sea-kissed freshness of its seafood dishes like the famed bacalhau to the heartwarming comfort of caldo verde, a kale and potato soup, Portugal's food landscape is as diverse as its beautiful terrains. The country's rich history has also left its mark on the culinary scene. The Age of Discoveries, for instance, introduced new spices and flavors to the Portuguese table. Think of cinnamon spice pastries such as pastel de nata, or the fiery punch of piri piri chicken. Then, there are the cheeses, wines, and the cherry liqueur, ginjinha, to savor. Each region, each city, has its own unique culinary identity, making every meal an adventure. A gastronomical journey like no other, that's Portuguese cuisine for you. Coming in at number five is a music genre that captures Portugal's soul, fado. This melody is more than just music, it's a narrative of life, a form of self-expression that encapsulates the Portuguese spirit. Fado, with its melancholic tunes and emotive lyrics, strikes a chord, resonating deeply with those who listen. Born in the urban streets of Lisbon in the early 19th century, Fado carries the weight of longing, loss, and melancholy. The very essence of saudade, a word that uniquely belongs to the Portuguese language. This is a music genre that tells stories of the sea, of love lost and yearned for, of dreams shattered and hope reborn. The powerful, raw voices of Fado singers, accompanied by the soulful tunes of the Portuguese guitar, fill the air, touching every listener's heart. It's a melody that invites you to feel, to reflect, and to immerse yourself in the depth of human emotion. Fado, the hauntingly beautiful soundtrack of Portugal. For our number four, we take a ride on the iconic Tram 28. This charming yellow carriage is more than just a mode of transport. It's a time capsule transporting us to the heart of Lisbon's rich history. As we meander through the narrow, winding streets, we're introduced to a symphony of sights and sounds that tell the city's tale. Listen closely, and you'll hear the gentle clatter of the tram's wheels against the cobblestones, a rhythm that has been part of Lisbon's soundtrack for decades. Peer out of the window, and you'll be greeted by an ever-changing landscape of pastel-colored buildings, bustling markets, and ornate cathedrals. Every bend in the track reveals a new vignette of Lisbon life from the locals going about their day to the vibrant street art that adorns the city walls. This isn't just a ride, it's an immersion into the soul of the city. A journey through Lisbon's history, all aboard the Tram 28. At number three, we step back in time in the historic city of Evora. Nestled in the heart of Portugal, Evora is a city like no other. Its rich history is woven into the very fabric of its well-preserved architecture, whispering tales of bygone eras to those who walk its ancient streets. Evora is a harmonious blend of Roman, Gothic, and Baroque styles, each one leaving its unique mark on the city. 
the Roman temple, a stoic reminder of an ancient civilization, stands in stark contrast to the Gothic grandeur of the Cathedral of Evora. And then, there's the University of Evora, a Baroque masterpiece that continues to breathe life into this historic city. Every corner of Evora is steeped in history, from its cobblestone streets to its whitewashed houses. It's a place where the past and the present coexist, each enriching the other in a beautiful dance of time. Evora, a living testament to Portugal's fascinating past. Number two takes us to the enigmatic town of Sintra, a place that seems to have been plucked straight out of a fairy tale. Sintra's allure lies in its mystical ambiance, an enchanting blend of nature's splendor and man-made marvels. Crowning the verdant hills of Sintra are grand palaces, each a testament to the architectural prowess of the bygone eras. The Pinna Palace, with its vibrant facades and whimsical towers, is like a burst of color against the skyline. The Quinta da Regalera, on the other hand, is a Gothic masterpiece, its labyrinthine gardens concealing grottos and secret passageways. But Sintra is not just about palaces. The town is swathed in lush gardens that seem to stretch on forever, their verdant expanses punctuated by exotic plants and blooming flowers. The trails that wind through these gardens are perfect for those seeking to lose themselves in nature, with every turn revealing a new vista. Sintra's charm is further enhanced by the rich folklore associated with the town. Tales of Moorish kings, star-crossed lovers, and hidden treasures abound, adding an extra layer of intrigue to every nook and cranny. Indeed, Sintra is a place where reality and fantasy blur, its air heavy with the weight of centuries-old stories. It's a place that invites you to forget the world outside and lose yourself in its mysteries, to wander its cobbled streets and leafy trails, and discover your own story. Sintra where every corner whispers a different tale. And finally at number one, we have the magical Douro Valley. The Douro Valley, a mesmerizing landscape of terraced vineyards cascading down to the serene Douro River, is a feast for the senses. This enchanting region is more than just a pretty face. It's the beating heart of Portugal's renowned port wine production. Imagine rows upon rows of lush vineyards, their grapes ripening under the warm Portuguese sun, ready to be transformed into the rich, sweet port wine that has made this region famous. The Douro Valley isn't just about wine, though. It's a place where time seems to slow down, where the rhythm of nature takes precedence over the hustle and bustle of modern life. The river, the vineyards, the tranquility, all of these elements come together to create a place that is truly magical. It's a place where you can feel the spirit of Portugal in every breeze, in every sip of wine, in every sun-dappled hillside. The Douro Valley, where the magic of Portugal comes alive. And there you have it, the seven magical things about Portugal. From the enchanting landscapes of the Azores, to the rich flavors of Portuguese cuisine, the soul-stirring melodies of Fado, to the charming journey on Tram 28, the timeless allure of historic Evora to the enigmatic beauty of Sintra. And last but not least, the mesmerizing scenes of the Douro Valley. Each one presents a unique aspect of Portugal's magic. So when are you planning your magical journey to Portugal?